Howdy guys, how's it going? Okay, so today we are going to be looking at the best class setup for the 357 Magnum pistol that is not involving the snake shot round. So now in the last video where I showed the best class setup for this pistol, I was using the snake shot ammunition, which basically turns this thing into a handheld shotgun. And it's extremely good, but this gun is also amazing just using the standard 357 Magnum rounds. You can go for a lot further distance, and as long as you're accurate, you actually end up with the exact same damage range up close. So we're going to be starting out with a muzzle attachment and we're going to be throwing on the compensator. The compensator helps improve the accuracy and control of this thing quite a bit. Next we're going to go over to barrel and we're going to be throwing on the longest barrel similar to what we've done with snake shot variant of this weapon. Next one thing that is a must no matter how you run this thing is the lightweight trigger because the fire rate for this thing is god awful slow. Then we're going to scoot over to rear grip and we're going to put on the FSS Raider stock. One thing that you'll notice right away about this stock whenever you're using it in game is it will completely change the sight picture that you have versus how you use this weapon whenever you're just using the standard handheld pistol grip and it kind of brings the gun closer and makes the weapon feel like it's a lot bigger on your screen and it does take up a, a just slightly more screen real estate and it can take a little bit more to get used to but I'll explain a tip for that uh, once we hop in the game. Finally we want to go to perks and we want to throw on sleight of hand. Sleight of hand is a must for this because this gun already has a speed reloader so you reload six rounds at one time even without sleight of hand but with sleight of hand you do it a lot quicker now full class rundown we got the right shield that just gives us a little bit of back protection you can always whip it out in the front of you if you need to for whatever reason then we got our 357 setup way i just showed you with platinum camo i might add then we got perks we got the eod hardline shrapnel lethal we run a frag grenade and tactical we got a flash grenade so we got hard point on shoot house. We're gonna be playing this shoot house playlist, the shoot house 24/7 playlist as much as we can for these videos while it is up and out. Um, now this is definitely not the kind of class I would want to run in a hard point match, especially if you're gonna to try to play the objective, because this gun is basically a marksman rifle. I mean that's. At this point, that's what it is. Like, I mean, it's just a short-barreled marksman rifle because it's pretty much a two-shot uh, most of the time unless you get really long-range shots. And uh, you can even get one-shot headshots at, uh, at pretty good ranges. But it's all about pre-fire. So right there was a one-shot to the head because I missed that first shot. We got him with a second. Uh, so you're going to want to pre-fire. Now, like I said, the sight picture for this is going to look a lot different than if you've used it with um, just the standard pistol grip. Because where you have this stock, your, your guy's pulling it a lot closer to his face. Um, and that can be a little bit off-putting and, and unusual based on if you're, if you're used to using a lot of the other handguns the way they normally are. And a tip for that is to just really focus on that front sight. Oh, that is a grenade. Uh, is focus on that front sight and just not let the rear sight picture swaying or anything really bother you or, uh, or, or knock you off too much. But yeah, we're going to take... Now, I mean, you can compete up close, but having that pre-aim is going to be what you want to go for. So, so right there was a two-shot to the gut. And I mean, a lot of times, oh, come on, this gun, if you can ever get good at just slamming people in the head, then, then I mean, you'll be unstoppable because, I mean, it's really, just the regular 357 is better than the snake shot in terms of damage, really, especially at range like that. Uh, it's just, it's just about accuracy. And so, I mean, if you're not that accurate, then you're going to have a hard time using this weapon. But like anything, it's one of those things that just takes time and practice. Now, we're probably going to end up losing this because I'm normally somebody that really tries to play the objective and pick up the pick up the slack in regards to that. God dang. Now, I haven't used I haven't used this 357 in, like, in, in quite a while. Now, I've been using the ARs and the marksman rifles and snipers and everything else. So you'll have to forgive my performance. But I, was, uh, I got requested in the comments of the 357 snake shot uh, quite a bit and just ask around about this setup in general uh, about doing one with the regular 357 so that's that's what i'm going to try to do so just just understand that, that this if you're used to using the handguns this right here will, will play very well and it's very fun to use i mean just look at that baby one shot to the head and we're all, we're still sacking on the leaderboard so that, that's just a testament to how this is because this game is going to go on for a hot second longer um, but now, I mean, if you're into using pistols also and you're wanting to, you know, run a pistol like this, uh, if you're not that accurate, then the, the Desert Eagle is the way to go because you get, you know, a faster fire rate. It hits just as hard. You know, you pop one people in the head once, two to the body. Uh, so, I mean, the Deagle's really a much better weapon overall. Oh, my God. I, we should not have got that double right there. But now, if this is a gun you want to put in the time and the work to get comfortable with it, then, I mean, you can have some killer games. Back when I was running 357, trying to get it gold for the Platinums, 
I mean, I had a couple games where I, I dropped, like, some good quad feeds and stuff with this handgun. Oh, and it's good for picking people off at range. Oh, my God. Hello, C4. I don't know, I don't know who, who threw that C4 and how they got it up in that window that far, but kudos to them. Man, I wish they didn't have it to where whenever you was getting shot, your screen went completely white for about, like, half the time of the video game. It just makes it so much harder to compete. Now, there's another stock for this handgun. It's the one that you lock up, uh, that you unlock uh, before this one. There's like uh, a, a attachment for the grip in between that one and this one. And I've used it, and I really don't like it because it slows you down. It just has like a, it has a different like clunky feel to it, and it's just not, it's just not a good attachment. Oh my God, hello. Oh no, we had no reason to miss that. Now, if we had not killed him, I'd have had to. I just had to give up at that point because that was like, we was right up on that, man. But that just goes to show that this gun does not have that much aim assist. So if you're somebody who is really, really reliant on aim assist, this right here is definitely going to be a gun you might want to avoid unless you're just looking for a challenge. I mean, oh my God. Like, I mean, I'm decent at the game and I'm used to this gun, but I'm used to the regular standard pistol view. And um, unless unless you know what I'm talking about, and until you use it, you'll you'll realize how how much of an exaggerated difference it is. The gun's definitely more accurate and easier to control and handle. But with that, like if you have the muscle memory of the standard pistol grip, it's going to take you a hot minute to adjust uh, to this FSS stock on this handgun. And if you're somebody that's just looking for up close kills on maps like this and shipment, then snake shot's still going to be the way to go. But it's good to know how to set this gun up uh, if you don't have Snake Shot unlocked yet. Because Snake Shot is one of the last things that you'll unlock for this handgun. So that's a key thing to keep in mind. Uh, hit fire kills, I don't think we're really going to be getting in a situation right now in this, the game we're in. We're sack it from the bottom. That is really bad. But we're not getting that much time in the hard point. But our team is our team's holding up pretty good as it is. Is that guy set up in the window? No. Yup. Oh, yeah, he was. That's why you got it. You got to trust your instincts. Trust the old gut. But now everybody that's above us right now is only ahead of us by a couple points. You gotta love spawns on this map too. KD is not gonna be looking too hot after this. But I can tell my ping is my ping's spiking on me a little bit, but regardless, I just the main point is like the first few you know, the first part of this video is showing the class setup itself. Uh, right the, the the way these kids like the way these people are playing, this is just not a good class to, to counteract how they're playing at all. So uh, not trying to make excuses for myself, but Oh my god, like that is just, that is so bad on my part. Oh my god, they don't even look. I, I don't even know what to tell you guys now. I'm sorry, I, I didn't know that I lost my thumbs earlier today. But I still, like, some of y'all just really like watching the pistol gameplay, and I'm glad y'all do. I tr I'll try to be putting out content. I'm just really on that camo grind right now and trying to still stream, on, stream other games on Twitch and stuff along with other business ordeals. So, like, I'm, I'm very busy and trying to drop as quality of content as I can with the internet issues and stuff, so y'all just kind of got to bear along with me. Okay, I'm getting dropped like it's hot, and it's really not. But this game, this game is really dragging on, so you're definitely going to get to see uh, a wide variety of gameplay. If you can get the solid two shot on them every time, then you really don't have that much to worry about. Um, but it's just always reload whenever you can, because remember, you only got six rounds. You only got six rounds, and if you if you already down one or two, then the other you know four or five whatever isn't going to last too long. Now, something I've been felt neglecting to do, just because I'm trying to rotate around the map with these guys, is anytime you can mount up, it's, it's going to turn this gun like it, you're not going to miss. Like if you're on target, you're not going to miss due to recoil or something. Kind of like the Deagle has a bit more recoil, and I like see that was just me missing because I I wasn't on him. Um, the Deagle has a little bit more recoil and can be a little bit hard for people to adjust to, so that, that is kind of a trade-off that you get. But the Deagle is much more of a superior weapon uh, than the 357, even if you are accurate, uh, just for the sheer fact that the ammo capacity and stuff that you get to take advantage of, and the fact that the the attachments that you can get for the Deagle also, aside from the aside from the larger ammo capacity, can turn into a better longer range weapon. I'm just I'm just not doing this gun justice at the moment. But like I said, I like to I like to show you guys the, the good games and the bad games because there's definitely uh, it's definitely not just good games that that we get. And you never know what kind of players you're going to be faced against. Like you know you could be playing against people that 
the set with shotguns around every corner that are constantly, you know, just pre-aimed mounted with their guns, which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just about, you know, playing the objective. And this right here would be a class that I would really just recommend for something like Team Deathmatch, uh... Or kill confirmed or something like that. These objective game modes, uh, a handgun like this is just not made for. You want something that is that's going to be able to get multiple kills down in a like fast, you know, succession to each other. My God, dude, I am just getting it stuck in my mouth right now. I mean, let me tell you. There we go. We're getting them headshots. We'll, we'll, we'll get on a grind here in a minute. That guy right there just just went and stuck it in my whole team's mouth right there. He's got like a gunship or something. So we're just going to take and sit here and have a nice little vacation in this corner. That guy knows I'm here. So let's throw that out there. Get him down and out. Okay, teammate, calm it down. We on the same team here. By God, I'm about to hop in this thing. We're going to get slammed by that. Laying down with the right shell on your back actually helps prevent, like, helps protect you from uh, score streaks up in the sky unless they're shooting missiles or rockets at you. Like, if it's just a regular Gatlin gunfire, uh, you're, like, especially with the, uh, the VTOL warship, it can really, really help protect you from that. I can't, the screen's shaking, I can't see what's jacking down alongside me. I mean, there's just not a lot we can do right here, fellas. We just gotta, we just gotta play and take it. Man, yeah, these guys are just... They're just rushing me. I really want to pull out another gun at this point so I can at least kind of help bring the team back, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna stick with it! I'm gonna stick with it. This this is what it looks like using this 357, Mag, uh, 357 Magnum class setup whenever the the enemy team has got flipping score streaks in the air and they're using ARs and subs and it's just not going in your favor. <laughs> so it's a... Uh, it's, I hope it's at least a helpful perspective to things. But if you think this is how much I suck normally, just please, please, please check out some of my other videos if this is the first one you're seeing, because this is normally not how it goes at all. Like, at all. There we go, there we go. Catching people that you can clean up with this thing is the way to go, too, because normally then it'll always be a one-shot if they've already took some damage. Man, getting them headshots, there is something satisfying about that, because it's just that nice insta-kill one-shot. Oh, oh, let's not, let's not try to get too fancy. Ah, try to do a little bit of an aim in, aim assist right there. I think that guy's still laying down too. Screw them guys and their uncles. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit them with some grenade action. Push the, okay, yeah. Hey, I predicted that one. Predicting people is always satisfying as well. I feel like they have got another chopper gunner or something up in the air, and I'm not wanting to deal with that right now. But you know what? Whenever you have, like, a, I, I'm sure that the rounds that thing shoots a lot larger than a 50 cal. So whenever you have 50 cals exploding in front of your face, I don't think, uh, I don't think it's going to be rocking too well for you. Okay, so we got him. We got a guy in this corner right here. Boom. Look at that. That's the first hip fire kill of the game, I think. I think I was about to say, if I get a second hip fire kill on the way to go, I mean, if I get a second hip fire kill, then that'd be the way to go, as opposed to trying to ADS these guys. Ooh, there we go. Maybe hit fire kills is a thing to do. We're not even going. We're not even going to look at my KD at the end of this game. Luckily, this round, this match is about over. But this match is going. This video is going to be one of the longest ones I've had up in, a, in like a hot minute, and it's going to be one of the worst gameplays that I've had. Just by you know, I mean that's just how it goes. What what, what can you do? What can you say? Oh my God! See, I mean, right there is a good a good example of how slow the ADS time is and how that can really screw you over. Like, we was barely able to ADS in time, and that guy already had, like, five rounds off. He just had hopped around the corner. That guy's been standing there the whole time controlling his garbage. Hey! Two headshots right there at the end, but they're not going to count towards your kills. Only 23 kills in a game that long is not too good. So this right here is really just something for you pistol enthusiasts who, uh, who really enjoy using the handguns on this game. One mixed up, try something different. Or just if you're trying to get that gun gold, and that that right there might help you accomplish some of the certain challenges you have. Oh my, well, you know, let's not look at that. Let's not look at that uh, scoreboard. That's really bad. But yeah, guys, horrible performance on my part. But check this class out if you like pistols. Hit that thumbs up button, even though this video don't deserve it. If you're new, subscribe and please check out some of my content so they don't think I suck like monkey wiener at this game. And uh, yeah, guys, till the next one. Adios.